Oh man. We're about to beat some dead horses. Before we get started with this video, give the video a thumbs up. Let's get it over 200 likes. Last video, we crushed the 200 likes. Let's do it again, bro. There is a Nintendo leak circulating the internet. And if, if this is true, oh my goodness, when I saw the games, I don't know why I keep giving my heart to Nintendo and they keep crushing and shattering it by only releasing Animal Crossing in all of 2020. But let's talk about this leak and I'm going to share my thoughts. Bro, it includes a Nintendo Switch Pro, which is being heavily rumored and more than likely will be coming out this year. But it's the games the games that have me so hyped let's start it off from the beginning all right and so the first game this says it's an internal use only a nintendo direct will be happening in the next week according to this leak week leak all right <laughs> it is a week leak but in the next week it's gonna be a nintendo direct according to this leak bro let's look at these games First, Nintendo first party games for the Switch this year. Now, I have to say this, Nintendo was very quiet last year with first party games and so hopefully they crank out a lot of more a lot more first party games this year. First off, Nintendo World Park Tour. When I think of this, I'm thinking of probably a Nintendo Land 2. Bro, see, I had a Wii U. Nintendo Land was lit in my opinion. Most of the games on Nintendo Land was pretty dope. And so Nintendo World Part Tour, I'm thinking it's going to be a more improved Nintendo Land for the Switch. We'll have to see. Bro, and then Mario Kart 9 for Spring 2021. Oh my goodness. First, that Nintendo World Part Tour game was... Um, February, January, February, March, April, April, April 2021. This next one, Mario Kart 9, Spring 2021. Mario Kart 8, the best Mario Kart game ever made. Second is the Super Nintendo uh, Mario Kart. Third, Mario Kart Double Dash. But I like Mario Kart 8, but I also had it on my Wii U. See, if you were in the 13 million real ones that had a Wii U, a lot of these games you already played. That's why I've been like, eh, all right, Nintendo. Been there, done that. Give me something new, bro. That's why I'm not even hyped for the um, uh, Mario 3D uh, World that's coming out um, next month. Been there, done that for me, bro. I need something new, Nintendo. And so, Mario Kart 9 would be lit. I tell you this. Playing that Mario Kart live with my kids, some of the power-ups and things that they've added in that, I'm like, bro, they got to put this in the next Mario Kart game. So Mario Kart 9 Spring 2021 would go crazy, bro. And then Splatoon 3 Summer 21. Oh, my goodness. I stopped playing Splatoon. I haven't been on Splatoon in ages. But for those of you who've been rocking out with me, Splatoon is my game, bro. For me, Splatoon 2 felt like a Splatoon 1.5. It wasn't like they had some new features, but felt very similar to the first Splatoon if you played the first Splatoon. And I sort of got tired of playing the game. Bro, if they come out with a Splatoon 3 like a, and they do some things from the ground up in that game, <sighs> Nintendo. I want to smile, but I'm also like, come on, Nintendo. 
Splatoon 3 would be amazing. If they hit us with a Mario Kart 9 and a Splatoon 3 in one year, that would be insane. So Splatoon 3, according to this leak, summer 2021. And then, and then, Super Mario Odyssey 2. This is why I'm like, man, I can't get to, don't do it, everyone. Don't get hyped for Nintendo because this ain't gonna happen. Mario Kart 9, Splatoon 3, and Odyssey all in the same year. I wouldn't even know what to do with my Nintendo self, bro. I just bought a PlayStation 5 Nintendo. Y'all can't do this now, bro. Where were y'all all last year, bro? And so, Mario Odyssey 2. And then, a new um, Fire Emblem. Um, Fire Emblem Echoes Path of Radiance. May 2021. Wasn't Path of Radiance already a Fire Emblem game? So, it's a remake of a Fire Emblem game. I'd be here for that. Even though I didn't finish Fire Emblem Three Houses. What did I start? I started playing on another system. Um, but Fire Emblem Three Houses, from what I did play, fantastic game. The story is amazing. My thing with Nintendo is they need achievements, bro. <coughs> I'm beating the dead horse. That's right. They need achievements, bro. You know how I would go through every single one of my Nintendo Switch Online NES Super Nintendo games just to get those achievements, bro. Bro, if Nintendo came out with achievements, I would be a primarily Nintendo gamer if they came out with achievements. But as of it is right now, I'm only messing with the Switch when a big Nintendo uh, first party game drops, then I'll hop back on my Switch and play it. But other than that, I got my PlayStation 5, I got trophies that games for that, but bro. All right, so Fire Emblem, a new Fire Emblem game. And then, Metroid Resurgence, Fall 22. This is why I'm so excited. And at the same time, in the back of my mind, I'm like, nope, one too many times. I got excited for Nintendo. Nintendo about to drop some major bombs, and it don't happen. The first year of the Switch was amazing, bro. We had Zelda Breath of the Wild. Splatoon 2 and Mario Odyssey. So it is possible. That's why I got to get a little hype. It is possible for Nintendo to go banger after banger after banger uh, in one year. My frustration is I'm still excited for Star Fox. Where's a new Star Fox game? I'm hyped for F Zero. Where's a new F Zero game? Wave Race. Nobody's doing the jet skiing. Thing. Nintendo, that could be your market. Where's a new Wave Race game, bro? Mario Strikers, bro. Punch Out, bro. Nintendo, bro. I mean, even a Mario Golf game would be lit right now. Come on, Nintendo. They have so many IPs. And for the Switch, man, the Switch is cool. It's not a bad system, but it ain't doing it for me right now. And so Metro Prime Resurgence would be dope. When I think of this, I'm thinking of a 2D type uh, Metroid game to tie this over until Prime comes my camera not refocusing. Sometimes when I put my finger like this, it refocuses. Booyah, I know my stuff, bro. Now it's back out of focus. But um, I'll be all in. Even if we get, I remember when Metroid Samus Returns was announced for the 3DS. And I was like, come on, Nintendo. Y'all coming out. The Switch is just coming on the market. And y'all not putting this game on this. This should have been a dual release on the 3DS and the Switch, bro. With achievements. We beating this dead horse today, bro. I ain't really rocking with Nintendo until they have achievements, bro. Once they get achievements, I just like my history and all that stuff right there. Um, I'd even play some of these third-party games, bro. All right. And also, in this leak, in this leak... It talks about the Nintendo Switch Pro. We're going to get to the third party games in a second. But the Nintendo Switch Pro and games coming out on the Switch Pro. Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Um, Eastward. Fall Guys. Ultimate Knockout. Fall Guys would be the perfect Nintendo 
game. I'm surprised. Fall Guys would run perfect on the current Switch, bro. Does this Sony has um, console exclusivity for a, a couple of months or a year? But Fall Guys would be the perfect Switch game. Dirt 5, Yakuza 6, um, Persona 5 Strikers, uh, Control Ultimate Edition, Fallout 3, Nair Replicant, Dead or Alive 6, Hollow Knight Silk Song, Apex Legends. Now, Apex has already been announced to come to the Switch, but again, I'm thinking they are waiting for a Switch Pro to put that game so it don't run like trash on, uh, on the current Switch. Even though it is still going to, all the games coming to the Switch Pro, I could imagine will still be backwards compatible with the current Switch. It's lower resolution, lower frame rates. Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville, another perfect game for the Switch. The Witness, Hitman 3, Man Eater, Borderlands 3, Dragon Ball Kakarot, Baldo, Little Nightmares 2, um, A Way Out, No More Heroes 3, Bravely Default 2. I might pick a Bravely Default 2. I love the Bravely Default series. Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, Monster Hunter Rise, Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition, Super Mario 3D World, plus Bowser's Fury. Watch, I still end up getting the Bowser's Fury just because I'm a Nintendo dude, just to play that Bowser's Fury content. I might get it. But those are the Switch Pro games. And third-party games coming to the Switch in 2021. Kingdom Hearts Destiny's Embrace, a new t Kingdom Hearts game. That would be lit. Bayonetta 3? What happened to Bayonetta 3? Come on, Nintendo. What did the game say, bro? Bayonetta 3. Shin Megami Tensei 5. From Ubisoft. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Watch Dogs Legion. Far Cry 6. Bro. <coughs> and this is um cloud versions. Um, cloud versions. Um, Capcom Resident Evil 2 Remake um, uh, Natively on Switch Pro Cloud version on Nintendo Switch Bro, now it's starting to make perfect sense Have these games come out natively on the Switch Pro And cloud on the current Switch Oh my goodness, perfect Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Coming to the Switch, that would be lit Final Fantasy 7 Remake, natively on the Switch Pro, cloud version on the regular Switch. That would be dope. Man, if Nintendo does this for this year, it would be so crazy, man. Part of me is excited. Part of me is like, Nintendo ain't gonna do all this, man. It would be lit, though. It would be lit. All right, dudes. What do you guys think of this leak? I had to share it with you guys. Um, also, whoa, but that's not the only news, bro. Xbox has come out with a survey asking their fans. Um, Xbox survey asking is asking players if they wish. The PS5 DualSense features were on the Series X controller. <laughs> and so, looks like Xbox is like, do y'all want the DualSense? We could do it if y'all want it. So I thought that was interesting. I thought that was funny. But it's the Nintendo news, man. Come on, Nintendo. I'm rooting for you in 2021. I started out, hey, in 2020, I started off, I was like, man, I'm going back to my first love. Nintendo's my first love. I'm like, I'm going back to my first love. Come on, Nintendo. Crank out some games this year, bro. This is your year. I was like, uh, Sony and Xbox, they got hardware. But so Nintendo, you already got your hardware. Just crank out software. Then they did Animal Crossing. And they did nothing else. All right, dudes. Um, We'll see what Nintendo cranks out this year. I always got a root for Nintendo. That's what I grew up on. We'll have to see, though, man. What do you guys think of uh, this leak? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right, I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice, Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One,
make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi One Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.